Hello, in this video I will show you how to use uh, CSS isolation in Blazor. Basically what that means, you have uh, an option or ability to create a separate CSS file for a specific component, okay? So CSS file for a specific .razor file. It's quite simple to do and it is quite useful because any class, any definition in that uh, CSS file will only apply to that page or to that razor file or to that component, whichever one you have, right? So it is quite useful and it is quite simple to do. Now in this example, I have a couple of uh, pages created right here. We have a component test2.razor. So this one has a paragraph. The paragraph has a class, it's called test class, and we have word test2, right? Then we have another one. This one is component test1. And this one again it has a paragraph. It has a class, test class, okay, and test1. So it's the same class and normally there would be an issue, but here we don't have an issue because we use that CSS isolation in Blazor. So for the test one, we have component test one dot razor dot CSS. Here we have test class defined. We have red color and font size 25. Component test two dot razor dot CSS. We have color blue and 25. Now, if I were to launch this, you can see that we have some navigation set up in the index dot razor. So this one will go to test one. Let's see, we have red, right? It's the same class. Remember, it's the same class. Two different uh, components or two different pages in this case. And we have uh, the same class applied uh, uh, to the same element to paragraph okay so this one is red but this one is blue okay so that's the difference it works perfectly now let's get back to the code so you see it is quite useful it's not difficult uh, uh, to do now if you're not familiar with blazer you should take a look at my course the Blazor technology is explained quite in depth and it will get you started from basics of Blazor to something a bit more advanced, such as running background tasks or accessing APIs or even establishing web sockets. Do take a look at that course. The link is provided and the price is quite decent at the moment. Okay, so getting back to this, you need just one thing basically, okay? Here where you have um, your components, what you need to do is create your component. Say component test one dot razor. Once you create that, you can create your CSS file. The important thing is to name them correctly. So for component test one, the CSS would be component test one dot razor dot CSS. This is similar extension to what you might see in, say, WPF application, where you have .xaml.cs, sort of a code behind kind of an arrangement. So it's quite simple. But remember, you have to have uh, the actual name matching. Then you have to have .razor, and only after .razor you write .css. So this is how you accomplish the isolation. It's quite simple and do try it out on your own projects. Do subscribe to this channel for more how-to videos, for more exciting business and uh, technology videos. And with that, have a good day.